EmuDeck is a beloved tool used by Steam Deck users and Windows people alike. Like any popular tool, it suffers from a bunch of misconceptions and misunderstandings by some users. In this video, we'll talk about what EmuDeck is and isn't, as well as clarify a few common misnomers. Stick around. EmuDeck is often referred to as an emulator. People will post on Reddit that they are running emulated games on EmuDeck, which is sort of like describing the radio in your car based on the make and model of the automobile. Not super useful if you're looking for help. EmuDeck is more like a superscript paired with an easy to use UI to manage the products installed by the script. When I say superscript, I'm not kidding. There's a reason it is so popular. It handles the installation and updates of tons of actual emulators from RetroArch to PCXS2, along with popular launching interfaces like Emulation Station and Pegasus. Along with the emulators, there are many tools installed like a CHD ISO compression tool, BIOS checking scripts. They even offer up a basic homebrew store, getting you access to dozens of free and legal games. But wait, there's more. Once the emulators are installed, they still need to be configured. Game folders, BIOS folders, controller mappings, and more. If you've ever installed PCXS2 manually, you'll know what that can be like. EmuDeck handles complex controller settings for multiple systems. Check out Emulation Station's Steam Input Masterpiece to get a sense of just how much EmuDeck does for you regarding controller configuration. And this is across the board. So we have an emulator installation and configuration, support tools, amazing control mappings, all things you would have to do yourself if you elected not to use EmuDeck. But the lovin' doesn't stop there. Emulators and their tools are frequently updated. Sometimes the updates are major and can require manual processes, and this can kill your EmuDeck setup. EmuDeck can help by intercepting those updates and tweaking them accordingly. It isn't 100% successful, but most of the time, EmuDeck takes a lot of work out of your way. If shoving hundreds of emulated titles into your Steam interface is your thing, EmuDeck provides you with Steam ROM Manager to do it. While I'm not a big fan of this app, personally, it is very popular and something else you would have had to install and configure yourself. It's just another example of a tool EmuDeck assists with. Important to remember, EmuDeck isn't an emulator. It doesn't provide ROMs or BIOS files. It isn't even really an app, but rather a complex, useful script with a simple front end for those that don't want to do all the work themselves. EmuDeck isn't all wine and roses, of course. It has had its share of scrutiny, including a rushed release or two that broke a lot of people's setups, removal of certain Nintendo emulators that shall remain nameless. Oh, and the tortured side effect of not actually learning anything about Linux, file structures, save locations, and the emulators themselves, how Steam input works, all thanks to having a tool like this to do all the work for you. I'm not sure EmuDeck's more recent jump into Patreon early access pleases everyone either. Once you start somehow making money off emulation, even though we all know now that EmuDeck is not an emulator, and utilizing apps and tools you didn't create, people can turn on you and things like paid feature access leaves a bad taste in the mouth. For some of these reasons, projects like RetroDeck and Batocera have their own communities and solutions. Competition is fantastic. Really nothing competes with EmuDeck directly, not from a popularity or from a community standpoint. The more people that use it means more people that can support it and help others. Let's wrap this up. EmuDeck does a lot more than most people think it does, but it in itself is not the emulator you're using for Yars Revenge or Missile Command, <laughs> that would be RetroArch, or for PlayStation 2 games, that would be PCXS2, or even for the Wii, and that would be Dolphin. Yes, it is a centralized installer for these, but that isn't the bulk of the magic it does. All the configuration, mappings, both drive and controller, and updating scripts really remove a lot of burden from people. Yes, EmuDeck has had a couple of Mars on its track record. It is still the best tool 
If you're ready to try MU Deck out yourself, I have the ultimate video to help you install it from front to back, as well as dig into some of those, shall we say, lesser known features. I'm Shane R. Monroe, and if you like what you see, consider subscribing uh, and leave a comment, of course. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Take care.